Hey there poets, this is Kiana Garcia reporting for QCTV News. In today's episode, we will be spotlighting the dogs of Whittier College professors. Let's see what these canine companions bring to campus. How often would you say you bring your dog to campus? Well, Stanton comes to campus every day of the week. He's with me two times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and with my wife on Monday, Wednesday, and most Fridays. Do you like bringing your dog to campus? I love it. love having him around. Especially students like him, too. Hangs out, waiting for oh, him. He's looking at him. He's looking at you. Waiting, say, oh, please pay attention to me. Do you find pride in bringing your dog to campus? Yeah, he's a, he's a good dog. Do you enjoy having him here every day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mostly it's for the students. <laughs> Otherwise, we could leave him at home. Students love to have a dog around. They like have, they miss their dogs more than their parents. So how often would you say you bring your dog to campus? Every time I come to campus, because I live 35 miles away, it's too far for me to be able to go home and walk them. And we live in a condo complex, so they can't get outdoors. So Monday through Thursday, I bring both, all three of my dogs. I have three dogs. Do you feel that bringing your dog on campus has a positive effect? Um, yes, in some ways it has a positive effect. I mean, it makes a, a homey environment. It forces me to get out and walk around, which is a good thing. I think it's good for me to get out and walk around to see the students, and the students see me doing everyday things like, you know, playing with my dog, cleaning up after my dog, things like that. It's a little difficult because the other two dogs who aren't here right now, um, they are not very people friendly, and so they'll bark at the, at the students when they come in for office hours, so that's why I hold my office hours in my lab. Do you think that bringing your dog to campus makes you enjoy your job much better? Yeah, it is a lot homier. So, because I get here typically around 7.30, 8 in the morning. I'll stay here till sometimes 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. And so it does make it seem much more homey. I'm more likely to be able to stay here, spend more time here, do the things that I need to get done. What does it make you feel like when you see dogs on campus? Um, it just makes me feel that the campus is really open to having the pets on being on campus and um, just feels kind of kind of like home. Do you feel that the dogs on campus brightens up the environment? Uh, I think it does brighten up the environment because it just um, you know just makes the campus a little more open and just gives a little more freedom for the professors and students to feel welcomed here. Do you ever play with the dogs? Uh, yeah actually uh, there's a dog named Stanton in Hoover. Um, I say what's up to him every now and then. Do, you, do the dogs ever brighten up your day when you see them? Yes, all the time. My advisor has a dog. It's a lab, and I have a lab too. So every time I go see her, he's always there, and it always makes my day so much better. Do you see? Do you feel that seeing the dogs serves as a sort of di uh, de-stressor from college? Kind of gets your mind off things. Yeah, definitely. I feel like they just bring a vibe, like a very good energy to you. I don't know because I have a puppy and. I just, he just makes my life so much better, so yeah. <laughs> Overall, these lovable companions bring much enlightenment to the Whittier College campus. This has been Kiana Garcia with QCTV News. Thanks for watching.